The Poison Tail Jig Mold from Duo Molds is one of the most popular jig molds out on the market. It's super versatile. You can make chatter baits, you can make swim jigs, and you can make regular swim bait jig heads with just this one mold. It's the Poison Tail Jig Mold from Duo Molds. Thank you for clicking on this video. And for anybody new, I am Matt Loon. In today's video, we're gonna be using the Poison Tail Jig Mold from Dual Molds to make swim bait jig heads. This mold is designed to make swim jigs, but with a simple, easy modification, we can make swim bait jig heads with ease using this Poison Tail Jig Mold from Dual Molds. There are two different Poison Tail Jig Molds. The first one comes in eighth ounce, quarter, and three eighth ounce sizes, and the other Poison Tail Jig Mold is half ounce, three quarter, and one ounce. I do recommend getting both of these molds if you wanna make some of these swim jigs or some of these chatter baits or some of these swim bait jig heads. I think having all of these sizes can come in clutch. So I think if you only get one of these molds, you're gonna end up missing out on the smaller sizes or the bigger sizes, depending on which mold you get. So I do recommend having both of these. So the Poison Tail Jig Mold calls for the Mustad 91768 BLN hook. That's not the hook that I like to use for this jig. I like to use the Mustad 32886 BLN in various sizes depending on what size jig head I'm going for. I feel like the style Mustad hook that I like to use gives me a much more traditional looking jig and I just I just like it a lot better, so that's the hook that I use. I believe the mold calls for a 28 degree hook eye, which is a much more uncommon one, and you can get a lot of them in a 30 degree hook eye, and that 30 degree hook eye still works in this mold. A lot of times in my videos, I don't show myself warming up my molds, getting the components hot, getting those molds nice and hot. It just helps with getting complete pours out of your molds. I usually do this, I just don't always show it on my videos. A lot of times I'll just set it on top of the lead pot, put the hook and the different components in there to get them nice and warm, but if that is something that I would recommend you guys do. So the first thing that we need to do is just put our hook in. Again, this is the Mustad hook that I told you guys about in a 4 aught size, and then I'm going to put my base hole pin in right now as well. And as you can see, that base hole pin is cut down a little bit, so that way I can get a complete pour, but I'm filling up the hole that would be normally created for the weed guard in a swim jig, but I cut down that base hole pin so I get a nice complete pour with no hole for the weed guard like I normally would if I had a fully sized base hole pin. Okay, so now I'm gonna close up my mold. I'm gonna make sure I have a good flow out of my lead pot, which I do. So we are going to pour our jig, just like that, doesn't take a lot. Let everything cool down, we'll check out our jig. Okay, so as you can see, we got a nice complete pour on our poison tail jig. You can see a little bit of extra coming off the head of that jig, but not that big a deal, nothing we can't clean up in the final process. So the next size jig that we're gonna make is the 3 8 ounce size. Again, this is the 4 aught hook. And we're doing a swim bait jig head once again, so I'm gonna put that base hole pin back in there. And we're gonna close up our mold. Check for flow on the lead pot, good flow. And get our jig poured up. And here in a second, we'll check everything out. Okay, so once again, we got our final 3 8 ounce poison tail jig. Turned out really good. We just have to do a little bit of trimming but nothing too crazy. Now, when you guys take these jigs out of your molds, I do recommend using a pair of pliers to get these jigs out. They will be hot, the mold will be hot, so you don't wanna burn your fingers, so using something like a pair of needle nose pliers really will help. The molds are set up to take these hooks. I'm gonna do two more of these on camera with you guys, and then I'm gonna show you later how to put the eyes on these jigs, because this mold does have slots for the eyes. So we have our hook ready for the 3 8 downs. And now we have our hook ready for the half ounce. All right, now we're gonna close up our molds. Both are closed up. Again, we're gonna check for flow, good flow. One down, got the next one. Second one down. We'll check those out here in a second. Okay, so now it's time to check out our jig, see how they turned out. This is the half ounce and it turned out really, really well. I think that these are gonna look really good with the swim bait on it. Let's check out that 3 8 And we got the 3 8 ounce all ready to go as well. It turned out really good, nice and full. I think it's gonna work really well. All right, so as you can see with this jig head, we have the sprue up on top. We have this little spot coming out off the head and our eye is full of lead as well. So we're gonna need to trim this thing up, which is pretty easy. First step in that process is just taking a pair of cutters and cutting off that sprue and then also cutting off this bottom part right there to give that head a clean look to it. 
So now the, the bottom's clean and the head's clean. And then what I like to do is just take a hook point and push in there to clean out the eye of the hook. You gotta give it a little bit of effort in order to clean everything out because it is lead that filled up in there. So now you can see that hook point is open. And then the final piece of the puzzle that I do is I take a file and I file everything down so it's nice and smooth. Just do the bottom part and then I do that top where the base hole pin didn't quite cover. And then there we have it. Now this thing is ready for some eyes. So one thing I want to mention in the video, on this tackle making video that I don't mention very much, is water lens sunglasses, guys. We all go out on the water and we need a good pair of sunglasses to help us see in the water. Water lens got great polarized sunglasses that are help you see down in the water and to catch more fish. So if you want to check them out, go to waterlandcode.com and make sure to use discount code LUNA15. It's going to save you 15% off anything on their website. Again, waterlandcode.com, use discount code LUNA15. So now we're at the point that we're going to put the eyes on our poison tail jigs. I like to use a combination of super glue and Sally Hansen's hard as nails. I put the super glue on the actual head of the jig where the eye goes in and then I take a pair of tweezers get that eye on there put the eye on and then once the eye is in place I'll take the Sally Hansen's tough as nails hard as nails and then I'll brush that over the top. I feel like it just seals everything in and that way if there's any super glue that gets outside of the eye itself that Sally Hansen's really makes it set up a lot faster. The specific lure eyes that we're going to be using in today's video are from the Attack series available on Duo Molds. Everything that we're using in today's video is going to be linked down in the description of today's video, so make sure to check out that product list and my Duo Molds link. Anything that you guys buy, please use that Duo Molds link so that way they know that I sent you and I can get credit for that sale. It really helps me out, helps the channel out. But these Attack series lure eyes are really, really cool. A lot of detail, 3D, just makes these things look a lot more lifelike. So the first thing I like to do is I just take some of the super glue and then I'm just gonna put some onto the plate. I just use the plate so that way the super glue doesn't get anywhere on the table or anything like that. And then the next stage in the process is just taking this toothpick and then I'm just gonna dab it onto the eye where that lure eye is actually gonna go and I'm gonna do it on both sides, it doesn't take very much, just takes very, very little. And then we're gonna get the tweezers out. And then when I have the tweezers, I just move it around and then I get it on the bottom so the sticky side is on that tweezer. And then I'm just going to put that eye where it goes. Sometimes it likes to stick a little bit. And then I'm just gonna move it around in place with my tweezers, like that. And then we're gonna repeat that process for the next one. Just like that. That one's in the right spot, so we'll set it aside. We're gonna do that process all over again. Super glue. And then what I normally do, guys, is I wait till the very end to use that Sally Hansen's. That way the super glue has all the chance in the world to get set up. And we'll do it on the other one. And I'm gonna repeat this process for every single jig that I need to put eyes on. We'll do one more on camera and then I'll finish the rest of them up off camera. But you're just gonna dab that super glue there. Super glue on the other side. Take our tweezers to get our eye. get the other one and then the next step is just letting that set up a little bit and then we will get our Sally Hansen's in order to get everything nice and finished and get a little seal coat on there all right so the final step in the process is just taking the Sally Hansen's hard as nails and brushing it onto the eye itself. I think it just seals everything up and it gets the eye to shine up real nice because sometimes that super glue will dull everything and it doesn't take very much, just a little bit. But we're going to do that on the next one as well. Just take a little bit, brush it right on the eye and then do that to the other side and then you just repeat that process over and over again. Like I said, it just seals everything and it just gives it a nice clear shine to the eye of that jig. Guys, I just wanna mention, I'm not making this video just to promote this mold. I am making these 
for a purpose. I'm gonna be using these on an Alabama rig out at a tournament that I have coming up. I'm making these specifically for that tournament. I'm gonna to be pairing them up on an Alabama rig because I just feel like that 30 degree hook eye is best on an Alabama rig. And as you can see, they turned out really, really well. Those attack lure eyes from Duet Molds are very realistic. The head design on this poison tail jig mold is also very realistic. So you put a realistic swim bait on there, you've got an awesome package right there. And as you can tell, I did not paint these when I'm fishing clear water where I'm going. I really like just that lead color. I feel like it mimics a shad perfectly. Don't forget guys, if you're gonna go to the Do It Molds website to buy anything, please go through my affiliate link that is in the description of today's video. It's the only way they're gonna know that I sent you over to the website. So if you're gonna get anything, please use that link. And then also guys, I got that upcoming tournament like I mentioned, and I'm gonna be throwing jigs out there as well. So check out a recent video I did making Arky jigs. You can click on that video on the screen right now and I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.